Hi there. So today I'll be showing you how to simulate the Ohm's law using uh, multisim. Right. So as we already know, the formulas of V equals to IR, I equals to V over R, and R equals to V over I. It's all based on this formula over here. Right. So uh, there are two sides of it, where on the cal calculated side, right, we have been looking at how the uh, calculations will be done to obtain the current, right as we will be provided with the voltage value and the resistance value. Now on the other side, for the simulated one, the voltage and current will actually be obtained based on the simulation done in multisim. Right? So as you can see, this is the circuit diagram over here, where we have a voltage supply. R1, we'll be setting it as 3 kilo ohms, right? and then there'll be an ammeter and a voltmeter to measure the current and the voltage. Right, so the components that you you'll be needing for your simulations is a resistor, power supply, a ground, and multimeters, where it will be your ammeter and your voltmeter. Right, so over here I've done the calculated side so that we can make a comparison with our simulation values. Right, so you can see the current values that I've obtained for the calculated is 1.667 milliamps. Now the formula used is V over R, as the V is already there the voltage supply and the resistance that we have already set, right? So it's 5 divided by 3 and you obtain this value. Now, when the voltage is 30 volts, right? Same thing, 30 divided by 3, you will obtain 10 milliamps. Now, I've only done it for two values. You can do it for the remaining uh, other values, like perhaps 5, uh, sorry, 10 volts, 15 volts, 20 volts, and 25 volts, right? So over here is like the table of it where I have done it but I have not filled in the values from 10 to 25, okay? It's, it's for you to calculate and for you to find out, right? So now, the simulator side, I have done all the simulations from 0 to 30 to show how exactly it is uh, increasing. When we increase the voltage, the current also increases, right? This is because of the formula V equals IR, where when you increase the voltage, the current also increases, right? The resistance is the only thing that remains constant, right? So, yeah, so this is the simulated results. Now, we'll be going into the simulation in multi-sim, right? So, we're going to be trying to construct the circuit, this one here, using multi-sim, right? So, control W, and let's bring in our resistor. So we'll take in the 1K and then we'll change it to 3K. Right, once that is done, let's bring in our sources, right? So we need a DC source. And then we need a ground, right? Anyone is fine, you can use the other ground as well. This one is also fine, this is also fine, right? Now let's perform the connection. And now we need an ammeter and a voltmeter. So uh, let's begin this with a zero volts, so that at least you can see that there is no current value or resistor, right? And as you can note, right, that when you want to measure current, you are to measure it in series with the resistor, right? So this multimeter will be measuring current. Now you notice this again, right? This is what you need to delay, or else it'll short. So if you see this kind of thing, just drag it on top and drop it back in. So you see, it's good, right? Now, uh, let's add, let's change this to ammeter, right? That's ammeter, voltmeter, and ohmmeter, right? We can ignore this. This is for decibel, right? We are not doing anything regarding with noise. Now, another multimeter, right? This will be our voltmeter to measure the voltage across the resistor, right? in parallel with the resistor okay so let's open this and this so over here is our current and over here is our voltmeter so you, there we go at zero voltage supply no current no voltage right 
Now let's change this to 10 volts, right? So we get 3.333 and 10 volts, right? So as you can see, right, at 10 volts, it's 10 volts across the resistor and 3.333 milliamps, right? So if we change this to 30 now, let's say. Right, so you see, 30 and 10 amp milliamps, right? 10, a 10 milliamps and 30 volts, right? So the reason why I'm not getting exactly 3 is that uh, over here, right, you will see that when you calculate it using your calculator, 20 divided by 6.667, right, you will obtain 2.999 uh, and, you know, we are taking the 3 decimal point of this uh, particular value over here, right, which is the resistance, okay? So at times, right, uh, three decimal point is uh, more like precise in accuracy terms, right? So over here, the value for your resistance is always three, it's fixed, calculated. So when it comes to physical now, physical will have a different value. It will not be always close to three. It will always range between like two, uh, two point uh, 2850 ohms or 2.85 kilo ohms to 3.15 kilo ohms, right? So there'll be a difference between the values. So if you want to see how exactly the 3 kilo ohm res uh, resistor value differs, you can go and check out one of my videos in uh, part one, sorry, part two, right, of the series and parallel circuits, right? I have it on my YouTube channel as well. Okay, so uh, let's, before we move on uh, to another part, right, to, uh, to the next video, all right, so over here, I'm actually just going to demonstrate on how exactly to check the linear graph of the Ohm's law, right, it's to prove regarding verification of the Ohm's law, so we'll be plotting out a graph, So the values that we are going to take is actually this, right? And we're going to paste it over here, All right? So I'll just remove this and bring this up. So uh, as we know, right, current is the x axis and voltage is the y axis. So from what I understand in Excel is that it always takes this as, uh, sorry, the left side as the x axis and the right as right side as the y axis. So I just need to take the voltage and put it on the right side of current. And now I'm going to plot the graph, right? So highlight the values that you want to plot, go to insert and just, yeah. And there we go. We have our graph already, right? It's a linear graph. And then we can add on a quick layout and stuff like that. So you can see that the values are being added, right? And after that, you can add data levels of anything, right? Okay, so you can add on the titles, like this is for the current axis, this is for the voltage, what's your title of the graph, and you can even change this as well, right? So that is all for Ohm's Law. I hope that uh, it helps you in simulating it easily right now and even plotting the graphs, right? Thank you.